Running SolidWorks. Matab already getting in there and creating his solid geometry. Drawing first blood and getting that solid geometry in place. Let's see where he goes with this. He's now going to jump into the slot command. We love seeing the slot command here on... So sometimes the Wheel of Fate can be a cruel mistress. Sometimes it seems like she's got a great sense of humor. In the case of today's battle, we're going to see the Wheel of Fate deliver a Tier 3 model into a battle that features our number one seed from this tournament, Matab. Matab has been absolutely tearing it up on the Too Tall Toby leaderboards, on the speed modeling leaderboards. He was the number one seed going into this tournament. And if you give the number one seed in a speed modeling tournament a Tier 3 challenge, you're going to see some pretty speedy modeling. I think this may be the fastest match that we've ever had in the history of this tournament series. So be sure to hit the like button if you like super speedy modeling. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you thought about this model and enjoy this CAD vs. CAD showdown. I am definitely ready to go. And guys, the way that we do this here at Too Tall Toby's CAD vs. CAD tournament, the way that we do this is we introduce the Wheel of Fate. And what the Wheel of Fate is, is it is a very special proprietary tool that we use to randomize the drawings. And what you guys in the chat can do is you can try to guess what our first challenge is going to be for these runners. So you can see here we've got VT12, 13, 15, 14, 7, 10, 3, 11, lots of different choices here as to what our first challenge could possibly be. Zor, look at all these great answers coming in. I saw some answers even coming in before, before Aaron C came in. You've got 11, 14 from Zhao, Rich Pen, 13, Wolfgang R, 12, Abdullah, 12. Very nice. Jim Yu coming in with seven. Jim Yu is always spot on on these things. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that and give this thing a spin. Good luck to everyone. Let's see if Jim Yu can continue his streak of correct answers yo levin looks like it's gonna be yo levin very nice very nice who got it mason makes very right in the beginning and he's in this thing unless he was just spamming one for the uh enjoying and being ready for the tournament ram bros workshop got it right as well guys some of you guys have, are so spot on on these guesses it's absolutely incredible we're going to learn a little bit about our runners. So Matab here is pursuing an industrial engineering degree. That's pretty cool. Pursuing an industrial engineering degree. He is a student. Believe it or not, he is a student. But he still has a lot of experience with 3D CAD. I think he's probably been using SolidWorks for 10 or 15 years because of how fast he is and how he was able to get that number one seed. So he's pursuing... Uh, an industrial engineering degree and uh, learning AutoCAD and Onshape alongside SolidWorks and didn't know about CAD design until 2023. Oh, okay. So he's not been using it for 10 or 15 years. He just learned about it in 2023. Wow. Started with SolidWorks uh, from a recommended varsity course. Been only one and a half years using SolidWorks. Matab, you are a prodigy. That is amazing. You are so fast in the software for having only used it a year and a half. That is, yeah, genius SolidWorks user. I agree. Completely agree. And over on the right, we're going to have Lotos from the Ukraine running Compass 3D. He's 43 years old. He started his career as a lathe operator. Nice. In a tool shop and participated in beta testing of several versions of the computed aided design Compass 3D. Yo, that is awesome. Well, that is cool. Shout out to all the machinists out there. All right, guys. Well, enough chat, enough learning about our runners. This is it. Our very first match of the day here between our number one seed, Matab from Bangladesh, running SolidWorks, and our number eight seed, Lotos from the Ukraine, running Compass 3D. Guys, this CAD vs. CAD battle begins in three, two, one, go! What is the mass of this part in XX.X grams? The tolerance on this one is going to be plus or minus 0.1 grams. And it looks like we've got a tier three challenge to kick things off here. Our challenges in this tournament are all between tier three, tier four, and tier five. Most of them are tier four. So this one might be a little on the simpler side. And both of our CAD geniuses have grabbed a screen capture. And both of our CAD geniuses are jumping into their CAD systems. So we see that we have got... Lotos on the left, 
running Compass 3D. We've got Matab on the right running SolidWorks. Matab already getting in there and creating his solid geometry, drawing first blood and getting that solid geometry in place. Let's see where he goes with this. He's now going to jump into the slot command. We love seeing the slot command here on the Too Tall Toby live stream. So uh, Matab coming in using that slot command. That's what we like to see. Congratulations to Matab, and he's going to be lopping that off with a cut on the bottom. That's very much like a machinist type of approach to do that. We see on the left, we've got Lotos coming in and using the uh, original boss extrude as an L shape. That's absolutely how I would have done it. And then going through and adding in some of those cuts along the top and along the bottom. Once again, exactly the workflow that I would use. In fact, that is the workflow that I used while I was auditing this part. So Lotos is absolutely mirroring the way I would do it, creating that L shape and then cutting to remove that geometry across the bottom and across the top in one move. Meanwhile, we see Matab has created one, two, three, four, five. This is, his, I think, his sixth feature in the tree. So he's really creating a lot of features, but wow, he is just absolutely screaming through this challenge. And that is what we like to see. He's got this rectangle here defined. He's got the height defined here. He's adding in those fillets using a little window there to add in the fillets, doing a little bit of an Ivan exploit here. This is a tier three model. So I think we're gonna see more room for Ivan exploits in this tier three model. And we see Matab now adding in that fillet on the one side. And I think we're gonna see an answer here in just a moment. And that answer has come in 90.4 grams. And that is correct. And Matab is going to win the first CAD versus CAD battle of the day. And wow, wow, wow. You give a tier three model to our number one seed in this tournament. And he turns it out in what definitely the fastest time that we've seen so far in this tournament of all the models that we've had. Wow, 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 Matab, well done. And that was some super speedy modeling. That was definitely the fastest match that we've seen so far. 1.5 years of using, congrats. Matab comes in with the correct answer, 90.4. And he came in with it in a, that's gotta be a tournament record. <laughs>